Okay, so we're going to be preaching at the Clothesline Arts Festival today, right here on the corner of uh, University and North Goodman. I'm looking for parking right now, but this is how the scene looks before we get here. Hi, sir. Can I give you something to read about the gospel today? Hi, right, sir. Give you something to read about the gospel today? standing before God, be guilty of sin and be cast into hell unless you repent. People aren't as receptive to the gospel today because there's all different philosophies of life today that have changed people's minds about different things. Atheism is on the rise today. People believe they were evolved. That's one of the reasons why there's less interest in God-fearing today. A lot of people think that they were uh, born like they were, a certain gender or the wrong gender. But God made them male and female in the beginning. And the devil has done his job to confuse mankind. So while there's still light in the world we proclaim that light we manifest that light that light is jesus christ we don't make any apologies today while men are going to and fro in their daily lives in the city of rochester today is a good day to embrace the things of god if you haven't been thinking about it a good time to start thinking about it because there's dark times coming, dark times that are already here. God created us for a certain purpose. He created us for a certain function to bring honor and glory to God. He is worthy of all glory, honor, and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created so we urge all Rochesterians all Americans all non-Americans to receive the gospel because that's the only hope that you can have is a real place called hell today that was created for the devil and his angels and we plead with all men and women and children, just in case you're offended that we said man and not woman, even though the Word of God is uh, portraying the same context. Because woman was taken out of man. Did you know man was first created, then woman? And does that make a woman inferior? No. God seen the man's need for a help meet, and that's why he created a woman. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that today. And because uh, there has been a lot of abuse, uh, women have been abused, children have been abused, that's not God's plan. That's just the deceitfulness of wickedness that's in man's heart. The Word of God tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it and that's why we've come out and preach and i'm very thankful today that we still have that liberty in this country that we still have the liberty to preach the gospel to preach what we believe publicly unashamedly just as paul said i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. To the Jew first, there goes your anti-Semitism, and also to the Greek. As we live in these end days and we get closer and closer to that day, we want to make sure that men are not deceived today. Even with all the false 
doctrines, the false accusations that the devil brings forth upon God's people. He's the accuser of the brethren. We have a, a rise in not only atheism, but there's a rise in Satanism where we used to go to rock concerts and people used to say, Hail Satan. Now we could go to a, a, a event like this, a family event, and there might be several people that will hail Satan publicly and unashamedly. So there is the God of this world who is the devil. God created all things, but he gave dominion to man when he was created, but he lost that dominion when he sinned against God. And now who holds the rightful keys to this earth is the devil. And he's right now deceiving many, many people into hell with him. But if you receive not the love of the truth, then one day God will give you over to strong delusion that you will believe a lie. So while today is a nice, beautiful day here in Rochester, New York, you could receive the truth and not be under the, under the penalty of sin by calling upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because the penalty for sin is death. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. God says, there's a way that seems right to a man that weighs, the ends are over the ways of death. Thank you. The way of life is through Jesus Christ, the finished work. The only way to receive that work and that salvation is to repent and believe in the gospel. The shed blood of Jesus Christ, that is the only way into the kingdom of God. The blood of Jesus Christ is the only thing that can forgive sin today. The Eucharist and the Catholic Mass cannot save any man. The confession of sins to a priest cannot save man. But only the blood of Jesus Christ. The Word of God tells us that the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. So that's the good news of the gospel today you can have eternal life purchased by God himself for you that's right do you uh, realize the power of the gospel today that God Almighty who created all things made a way for you to have your sin blotted out He's long-suffering to you that you will have another day to respond to the, the love of God at the cross of Jesus Christ, the power of His resurrection that would redeem you on the day of judgment. But if you are not redeemed on that day, then you will be raised to a resurrection, but you're not going to be raised to the resurrection of life. You're going to be raised to the resurrection of the unjust who are going to be judged out of the law of God. According to Revelation chapter 20, the great white throne judgment. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into a lake of fire. So you could either believe God or believe man today. But when you reject God's word, you don't reject us. You reject God and you reject all that's good about God. And God said in his word, know ye not that the goodness of God leadeth thee to repentance. Yeah, God's been good to a lot of you. The hurricane didn't come through here and wipe your houses out. The Word of God says, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For Thou hast created all things, and for Thy pleasure they are and were created. So we know that all of creation today, everything you see today was created for the pleasure of God. Human beings were created for the pleasure of God, not for their own pleasure. He created you to be sons of God, to bring pleasure to God. But God's will for all men everywhere is that they will repent, they will believe the gospel. Sin entered into the world and death by sin, and so Death passed upon all men. That's how death came upon 
man is because of sin. They were deceived by the serpent in the garden. They didn't listen to God's command. And then the promise of God, not only is eternal life a promise of God, but so is eternal damnation. God is not slack concerning His promise as some men count slackness. But he is long suffering to us, we're not willing that any perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the will of God for you today is that you would be delivered from the power of darkness and that you would be translated into the kingdom of his dear son. And that's the only way you could be translated. So you have to be translated today, folks. You're in. You're in the kingdom of death. You're under the judgment of God. You have to be translated into the kingdom of God today so that you could have eternal life. In whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature. For by Him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by Him and for Him, the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the power of God. That's the power of salvation. That's the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And one day... He is going to sit on the throne of the glory of God and He's going to hand over the keys to the kingdom, to God Almighty. He's going to make, until He makes His enemies His footstool. When He rose from the dead, He rose above all principalities and powers. So today, folks, this is no joke that we're talking about today. God has a purpose and a plan and we're rapidly on the way to destruction rapidly on the road to destruction but you need to be redeemed today and you can only be redeemed by that blood in whom we have redemption you only have redemption through his blood if our gospel be hid it is hid to them that are lost Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So the Word of God says that men are saved by faith. So that's why a lot of people today will reject the gospel today, because they have to believe it by faith. Most people will come and argue today. They'll argue about, but God said this and God said that. For by grace are you saved through faith, where it's the, the words of the knowledge of God that will save your soul. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So while we're out here preaching today, we're still bringing forth evidence that there's something that exists that you can't see today, that your mind can't comprehend today, but through the evidence of the preaching and the evidence of you being reminded that man was born and created in the image of God for His purpose, for His pleasure. He created all things for His pleasure to bring glory to God. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So today you have opportunity to receive the things of God by faith before it's too late because it's only by faith that you could have eternal life. It's only by the blood of Jesus Christ you could have eternal life. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Like my friend was preaching earlier, those... They listen to the world and listen to the devil. They're taken captive by the devil, by him at his will. And you need to be recovered today. 
You don't need to be recovered from drugs and alcohol, but you need to be recovered from the snare of the devil that you're under because you're taken captive by him, by him and his will, not your own will. Did you think you were planning your own life today? Without Jesus Christ, you're not planning your own life. The devil's planning your life. And at the end, you're going to go to the judgment of God. But this corruption must put on incorruption. No thanks. And you're corruptible in the sight of God. And what does that mean? You're corruptible with sin. You're subject to death. You're subject to the judgment of God. But God says being born again, not of incorruptible seed, or not being, you, being born again of incorruptible seed. Man, well, hold on. I'm getting it mixed up now. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. So that's why you're blinded today to that message. That's why you make faces at the message. You reject the message, a lot of you. I'm glad actually there's a lot of receptive people here too today, which is a, is a blessing to see that. But being born not again, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God. So right now in your present state, you're corruptible. You need to be redeemed. I'm sorry if I, in the past few minutes, I got some of my words mixed up. But uh, I'm preaching Jesus Christ and Him crucified that you might have eternal life because the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. And Jesus Christ desires to save you. He desires to translate you into the kingdom of his dear son through the blood of Jesus who rose above all principality and powers and uh, when that day is I don't know and no man knows the day or the hour but we all already know that God said that it will be just as in the days of Noah so shall be the coming of the son of man be and I believe that those times that the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, He's going to come and visit. And when He visits to this earth, He's not going to be visiting like He visited the first time. He, he, he came with mercy the first time. He came with love and compassion towards lost men that they would receive Him. But when He comes back the second time, He's coming in flaming fire to take vengeance and to bring judgment on all those that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. So when the Lord Jesus Christ comes back the second time, it's not going to be to a, a lowly baby in a manger like he did the first time. He's coming in flaming fire to take vengeance on men. That's going to be the, the God who men reject today or the God that they make up that... You know, God loves them the way they are. He loves them in their sin. He loves them in their incorruption or their corruption. I'm sorry. Keep getting that word mixed up today. But we plead with all men today to receive the things of God, the resurrection of Jesus Christ and His shed blood on the cross because that's exactly what we preach here today. We preach the blood of Jesus because it's the blood of Jesus that forgives all sin. And when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you could receive that payment for your sins according to your own, according to your own sin. And when you believe that, you could receive eternal life. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. So that's what we're preaching here today. We're preaching uh, being passed from death unto life. How many times have you heard the term that they passed away? That's not a scriptural word. Actually, it comes from uh, Scientology because they uh, believe that uh, you won't even get sick. It's all in your head and all in your mind. But... Uh, that's not the case at all. You don't, you don't pass away when you die in your sin. If you die in your sin, you go to hell. It's not passing away. You have to have life to pass away. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, he, 
that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. The only way you could scripturally and doctrinally say that you pass away is if you have Jesus Christ and you have your sins blotted out. Because then it's passing from this life to a next one. But if you die in your sin, you're going to lift up your eyes in hell and then you're going to be brought up to the great white throne judgment at the resurrection of the resurrection of the unjust. According to Revelation chapter 20, and whosoever's name was not found written in the book of life was cast into a lake of fire. And God calls this the second death. That's because you walking around right now in your fleshly life, that's when you physically die, that's the, your first death. You either can you're either gonna be born again or you're gonna die twice. That's what the Word of God teaches. Those that are saved need to be born again. They need to be born twice. And those that are lost and die in their sin, they're going to die twice. They're going to physically die. And then at the great white throne judgment, they're going to lose their own soul in hellfire. But we call all men everywhere by the grace and mercy of God and His, uh, and His commendation that He died for sinners. He loved all men and died for their sins and took their place for their sins on the cross and shed his own blood. And he has promised in his word, along with promising in eternal life, thank you, along with promising eternal life, he also promises eternal damnation to all those that don't believe. So today, repent, call upon the name of the Lord and receive Receive the gift of God through Jesus Christ because that's exactly what it is. It's a gift of God. The gift of God, eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Don't die in your sin today, Rochester.